Hey, how you doing? This is Chris. Um, I'm the developer of the wiki and I'm an authorised epic training consultant, among other things. Anyway, this is just a short video for you to explain what happens if things go a little bit wrong with your project, which can happen all the time, especially if you're an independent, um, what do you call it, independent video game developer, you know? Now, I've been developing on Unreal Engine since whenever, you know, and I've spent seven years teaching it. And in that time, I always come across new problems. And I'm going to show you my process for trying to sort out some problems, okay? So, let's have a quick look at what makes my Unreal Engine project folder. So, if I go to my Unreal projects, this is the wiki. Now, you yourself, as a game developer or product developer, depending on what you're doing, will have something very similar. Mine is stored on my fastest hard disk drive. And um, here it is, Wiki 5.0, okay? Now, if I go into here, <coughs> here's my project files. And as an example, I'm just loading up my project, the Wiki. Now, if I double click on this, okay, what I've done is I have set my start level, the one that it loads up first, to be the lightest level in my project, okay? Now, if you don't have a light level in your project, then I really do suggest that you make one. Now, this is just gonna load up. While it's doing that, I'm gonna let it just continue doing that, and I'm gonna talk about what's in my content folder next. Now, another thing to look out for is, if your project stops working for whatever reason, and this may seem logical straight away, and it may not, depending. Have a think about the last things you did and the last things you installed and the last maps you worked on, okay? Because those are the keys to what's gonna stop it working. Whether you're having trouble with it loading up or whether you're having trouble with it, you know, just crashing midway through testing it or whatever. It's always gonna be what you've added to it. Now, here's my start scene here. Okay, and this is just a simple little test level that I built. My menu runs off this, so everything in here is really, really light, and it's gonna load really, really quickly. If I was to load up my main level in the wiki, we'd be sitting here for five minutes while it loaded. Okay, so I can see my project's loading. So from here, what I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna go to my open level. Okay, so open level here. And then what I can do is I can find my latest level that I worked on, and I'll bring it up and I'll see if it crashes on real engine. If it does, then I'm gonna make a note of that. If it doesn't, I'm gonna move on to the next level file and do that, and the next level file and do that, and the next level file and do that. Now, with Unreal Engine 5, most of you aren't gonna have the kind of structure that I do, but this is an imported Unreal 4 project, and I didn't want to use the world partitioning system. So inside here, I've got lots and lots and lots of streaming levels that are all part of my game so that I can load and unload them as I want. Now, with World Partition, obviously you're at the mercy of the World Partitioning system. Uh, that's entirely up to you. But my advice to you is do what I do and do father, sorry, grandfather, father, son. Okay, so save it and then save another copy, you know, somewhere else. So that you've always got three copies of your level. Do your changes and if it's not going to work, roll it back. If you're not fortunate enough to do that, have a look at the assets that you've created. Now, if I go down here to my blueprints, okay, because I always keep things in a big folder called my blueprints. Uh, let's just move this so we can see it a little bit better. I do actually have a blueprint that I was working on, a new blueprint. There's two of them. There's this one called Mr. Blue Sky. And uh, Mr. Blue Sky I've already deleted because it wasn't really going to be working for me. And then there's another one here called, let me see, b -b 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 bear with me. Not that one, not that one, not that one. I might have already got rid of it, to be quite honest, actually. It would not surprise me. But what I'd done was I made myself a post-process. And my post-process um, was definitely causing problems because it was very, 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 very heavy. So what are you going to do if you've installed some new stuff and then Unreal Engine is crashing all the time? Now. Obviously the option is always gonna be, you know, that you can go to your Unreal Engine and you can go um, Windows, Content Browser, you know, find the thing that you're using. So there we go, find the entire folder and then inside that delete it. But you know how long that takes. 
Now, think carefully. Did your project, okay, actually use these contents? That's the first thing. The second thing you've got to look at is, you know, did the problem start with this? Now, I've got a folder in mind that I know has been causing problems. Okay, no disrespect to the person who wrote the um, thing or anything like that. It could just be that, you know, one of the assets in it isn't quite running the way it should do. I was basically running a, um, not a plugin, a content pack just for a material in it that I thought would save me some time and some effort. Now, let's say I don't want it. What I'm going to do is I will go over to my Unreal Projects folder, go into here, go to content. Now be very careful before you do this and take a backup of your entire folder because you may lose things. And then just select the one that you want to get rid of. Now this isn't the one that was causing you problems, but let's say ocean floor, there we go. And then all I'm gonna do is just hit delete. It's gone. And then I can close the window down and just like that, I'm not gonna have the issues for that loading. Now you can see, okay, there was nothing hooked into this anyway. It didn't say this asset is preloaded, it can give me any permission errors or things like that because I'm on an empty level that doesn't have any of these things. <clears throat> okay, so this is the first thing that you should try when you're having problems loading up your Unreal Engine project and it's crashing and making you unhappy, okay? So later on, we'll have a look at some other things, but for the moment, I hope that this might be helpful to you if your Unreal Engine is crashing quite a lot. It's better than buying a new graphics card. Anyway, see you later on and uh, have a good one.